Hey guys, Matt here with Matt Wayne Adventures. And we got into Gatlinburg last night. And I'm taking y'all somewhere that I don't think I've ever took you. Uh, um, taking you to Cade's Cove. I don't think I've ever took you there. But we got into Gatlinburg last night. And of course, I got some footage of that. And also, the other big news I was telling you about is in this clip. <music> If you're wondering when to come to Gatlinburg to see the lights, it's definitely on a Wednesday night. There ain't nobody here. Awesome. Ooh, got the arcade. I can blow some money in the arcade. So if you see my last video, you've seen that uh, I mentioned I had two big announcements. One of them was the camper, which was which should be the last video. And the other one announcement I didn't mention then is this. This is Millie. She was uh, born, I think now she's eight weeks old. Or how old is she? No, she's, she's over two months. Look at her. She's over two months. So, she's yeah, things are going good. She's healthy as she can be. She was six six pounds when she was born. One ounce. Six pounds, one ounce. So, what better time to introduce our new baby and at Gatlinburg. You're going to come to Gatlinburg Wednesday. It's time to come. Now we're in Pitching Forge, and there's this new thing that we found online. The Riverwalk Greenway. It's all lit up with Christmas lights. I'll turn around and show you just a minute. It starts at the island, and I think it goes to the old mill. Is where the Greenway Riverwalk Greenway goes to. But it is really festive. So I know what you're thinking, Matt. Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, how many times do you go a year? <laughs> Too much. But uh, anyway, I had to show you this. This is awesome. But let's get back to Kids Cove. Thanks for bearing with me. Whoa, <laughs> I got you. So we just um, pulled into Wares Valley. At a, um, no, I actually went in Townsend. Uh, a little hotel where we met up with my mom and dad. They're here as well. This is a family trip that we do every year. But we're going to Kids Cove right now. We're going to meet up with my mom and dad. So we're about three minutes away, and Cades Cove is probably about an, an hour from Pigeon Forge, maybe a little bit more from Gatlinburg because it's depending how you go. There's a way you can go from Gatlinburg; it's an hour and ten minutes. The other way you can go is fifty minutes, which it's really curvy. If you get car sick, I don't recommend that way. The shorter way from Gatlinburg, but we're headed there now, and I'm excited. They say the bears are in the trees. going to Case Cove, the only road into Case Cove is on Laurel Creek Road. There is only one way in and one way out. So don't, you know, don't think it's confusing or you might get lost or if you can't find it, it's, it's, it's literally one road. So if you get on Laurel Creek Road, head towards Case Cove, there is no turn. You just head straight into the loop. Now, when you first come in the loop, you may think it's, man, it's boring. I'm gonna turn around, but <laughs> you can't turn around. It is, it is one way. I'll say, if you keep going, it gets better as you go. Send our first wildlife. That's here, turkey. And there's something clicking up in the woods. Probably turkey. But the thing is, with Cage Cove, is look for bear. Of course, you know, if you haven't seen many deer, that's interesting too. I guess they got big bucks. But the biggest thing is bear. 
that you gotta look up in the woods, but the shadows play tricks on you. Just talking to dad here just a minute. Um, Cage Cove was actually a residence where I mean, it was a township. And the cabins that are in here, I'm not sure how many cabins here. I think it's at least six or eight cabins here still left. There's a few churches, uh, Methodist Church, Baptist Church. I guess they got mad at one another and <laughs> created their own church. But uh, there's a grind mill. Of course, I'm not sure if that's actually where the cabins and churches were. I don't know if they moved them here or what. But I'll show you all the cabins. But it's actually kind of neat. I think Dad just told me that there were 700 people that lived here and was in this loop, and of course, some of the outskirts too. Now, one thing to know, the most important thing to know about Cades Cove is, if you see a bunch of cars parked, start looking, because they are parked looking at something. Most of the time, that's, that's the most important thing. They're looking at something. Now we just parked out here at the uh, visitor center in the grits mill right here. It's right in the middle of the um, of the Senate Loop at Cates Cove. And you actually, if you, if you take the Senate Loop, you, you will see this. Like you almost, you almost run into it and you got to bear off to dodge it in a way, the parking lot. But um, I'm going to show you all this. This is probably the neatest place in Cates Cove. There's a visitor center behind me right there. All that. I'll show you this finish. <laughs> That right there? What is that? This right here, guys, is the grits meal. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure on my timeline. I think it's the 50s. Cades Cove turned from a civilization, a town, township, to a national park. But when that happened, all the cabins you see on this loop there were the old original cabins. So basically, when it turned from a township 
to a national park, there was actually houses like this in it, which is more of a modern looking house. You know, it's just still old, but it's still, it's more modern than an old log cabin. All right, guys, so that was Kate's Cove. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope I showed enough of it. Maybe you can kind of make sense of it if you want to come visit. But as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.